Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to download RSL Helper and a couple basic features to help you level up your food champ. First thing you're going to want to do is go in the description below and click on the link to join Farbsoft's Discord server. Once there, it'll show you the welcome page and you're going to want to scroll down on the left to the RSL Helper News Bugs Links Helper. When you're in here, you can scroll all the way up to September 24th and you can find the latest in initial setup for the RSL Helper. So you're going to want to click the download and then click continue to download. We know this is a uh, uh, all safe uh, Farbsoft's well established in the community and everything's good to go with RSL helper. All right. Once your download is finished, you can click open file and it'll pull up the uh, the installation. So I'm just going to click next. It says I already have a file. I tried to uninstall it, but uh, not all of the files went. So I'm just going to click yes, next and then install. All right, now that my install is complete, I can click finish and then I'm just gonna minimize Discord and I can go to my start and then I will uh, be able to type in RSL helper and then I want to choose the RSL helper updater. You can click on this and then you can click start update. It'll check to see if there's any updates available and then it'll download any necessary updates for you. Now that all of our files are done downloading, we can close out of the helper and then we can go back into our search bar and then we can type in RSL helper and you can click on it. And then what I like to do is pin it to my taskbar. So I had it already pinned, but I unpinned it and then I can uh, pin it again. And then I can go in and I can just click on it from my taskbar. Once it loads up, it should boot up raid along with the helper. And it's pretty cool because you don't necessarily have to have play and play open at the same time. Additionally, I can show you some of the basics with the food. So one of the cool things that you can do with your food is you can have multi-level XP set and you can choose uh, which champions you want to level up and what level you want them to go to. You have a, a bunch of different settings, so we can go through those real quick. So if you click any of these boxes, you will uh, select those types of champions. So if I want my vault champs, uh, my reserve vault, my faction guardians or my fusion champions, uh, I can click on all of those. Now, granted, if you have use only fusion champions, it will select fusion champions from all of those different categories. So if I unclicked all of those and reclicked use only fusion champions, again, it'll pull up the fusion champions only. So I can go in and the overview screen, it shows you how many champions that you have at each of the ranks and then you can see over here the auto select function which will based on clicking this calculate rank and food you can uh, have these auto populate to select the certain champs from each rank you will need to check mark these boxes to make sure that those food from those levels are selected and then you can click auto select so you'll notice I didn't click the five star food that I have, so it didn't select any five stars, but it did select the three, two, and one star food. Now, if I click auto select five, I can click that and it'll only select my five star food. So I can click clear queue. It'll deselect all of the champions that were clicked. I can re-click calculate rank and food. And then now that I have my five star selected along with the one, two, and three, I can click that and then you'll see uh, Gomlock selected along with the three, two, and one star champs. So that's how you do the auto select for champions. Now say I go through and I realize I don't want to level up this champ for whatever reason, I can just simply click on that champion and it will deselect them and then deselect them from the selected champions number. Additionally, I can go in and say, oh, it didn't select my Renegade, but I do want to level her up to a certain level. I can just click on her and then it will show you that they are selected. And then this far right column, champion level limit, you can uh, set this so that champions will only go up to a certain level. This is really useful if you have your sparring pit open and you don't want to level champions up to max level, but you want to do a level before that. All you need to do to have the champion level limit selected is click this box and then you can set whatever level you want those champions to go to. So for my three star, just for the uh, sake of showing it in the video, I can set the level limit to level 20. And then my two stars, I can have it set for, we'll do level 17. So maybe it'll be a, a couple runs, not the next one. 
once I have my level limits selected and I'm all good, I can close out and then uh, I'll make sure again, this box is checked and I have the option of running effective resources, which is only my energy that I have right now, or I can click auto refill. Um, if I have auto refill selected, it will use all of my gems until these 33 selected champs get to the, the rank that I wanted. So I can go in and click that if I want to. And then additionally, if I want to level up champs to a certain rank, but I don't want to use all of my gems, I can select max refills. And then I can set the number of refills that I want to do. We know each refill is 40 gems. So say I wanted to use 400 gems on it, I could select 10 and then it would be good to go. But I don't want to do that. I just want to use my effective resources so I can click that. Uh, and then unclick max refills. Because again, if I use run effective resources and max refills, um, I believe it will go in, it'll run the effective resources, which is my 99 energy plus 10 refills. So pretty neat feature there. But I just wanna run the energy that I have selected. So I'm gonna do that. I have my auto sell artifacts already selected because I don't wanna keep any of the items from this. And then I don't want selling simulation mode on because that will show me uh, in the helper if it would have sold it, but it won't actually sell it. So once that's all good, I can click start and then it will give you this option of farmer champs. So you can either have it set to auto select your farmer champ or you can select it yourself. If I was doing a dungeon like Ice Golem where I run two farming champs, uh, it's great because the helper will uh, with pretty good accuracy know how many champs you're using and then the champs that are food but if for whatever reason you want to make sure that it keeps uh, all of your your non-food champs uh, you can do this and you just select and then uh, you click out of it if you don't want to go in and manually set which champions are your farmer champ every time you can just simply go over to settings and then you can click auto set farmer champs right here so once I do that, it'll uh, farm up all of this food. And I can minimize this for you. And you'll see now the uh, tier lacks are level 20 and the lurker is only level 15. So it'll know based on my champion level limit to get rid of those two, but keep that one. So we can go through again. And she's level 16 now and then it should be one more raid Do this and hopefully she gets to level 17 this time and she does so now it will go in and it'll deselect her and then those one stars also got to level 8 so now it'll go back and it'll keep running until I run out of energy um, I don't want to run out of energy so I'm just gonna hit this box to stop it and then after this run, it will uh, finish. I can sell that. Yeah, that's the basics for how to use your food leveling within RSL Helper. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll do some more in-depth guides on how to use the Helper. There's a bunch of uh, super cool information that you can get from the Helper, but I figured this is a good starting point for you. A huge shout out to Farbstoff. I'll link his information down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. It helps with the algorithm. It helps me get the content out to more people so that people can enjoy their time in raid and not have to grind all this food. And and, uh, you know, we get to enjoy the good parts of the game and then the parts like this where it's not super fun, you can kind of put them to the wayside. Uh, yeah, thanks guys.